what is popping off y'all i'm back at it again with yet another clip because it turned out they added the portal fortress in and i'm pretty sure the first time y'all get into a game and y'all find out about the portal fortress this is gonna be y'all's very feeling right here so this is my very feeling and i just found this from playground so you got that and plus they also have a spiked stadium but i think the spiked stadium is only for um only for playground mode so if y'all want to hop on in playgrounds and if y'all want to experiment with that and i'm not going to take any 1v1 bros 1v1 me bros or nothing like that then hey this is definitely the move you should make and let me go ahead and build this first so i can get to that um i'll be able to get to that bouncer and launch pad right there so we got a lot for you about these next 14 minutes but first, without further ado, let's go ahead and compare the regular Porta Fort to the Porta Fortress. And we're using Loot Lake because Loot Lake's pretty, pretty flat land. So I'm just gonna chuck this Porta Fort, and we all know what it looks like, right? It's a nice little, nice little simple structure like that. Y'all see that? Fine, cool, dandy. Now I'm gonna toss this Porta Fortress about the same distance, but we're just gonna look at it side by side. Let me separate it. Let me separate it just a little. Holy! <laughs> I don't know if I threw it as far, but wow! Look at—you can already tell the size difference, y'all. Like, why even use a porta fort anymore? Why even use a porta fort? So the porta fort's on my left, and the porta fortress is on my right. And best believe, I'm probably gonna have to go into another game and try to stack these. Probably try to find like five of these to stack just to see how far you can really get up in the air but let's let's just go ahead and take a look at this new portal fortress y'all before we even step inside this place look at this y'all oh my god it's like it's got a whole little encasing on the side it branches out it's a three by three but it branches out to a, looks like either a looks like a four by four it branches out to a four by four up top Let's uh let's look inside. So this thing is currently standing on four different legs. Right here. One one, two, three, and there's one on the opposite side. And there's still only one door. Just like the port of fort, there's still only one door. If it's yours, you can uh you know edit what you want. You still have the tires in here. But now look at this, y'all. We're up top. Oh my god. We got the uh, bouncers literally glowing out the sides. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and... This is probably something I'll do in a real game. I would put you know spikes in on the bottom in a real game. But right now we're just simulating it. So with a portal for it, you would just put that um, floor right up top of there. And then just block everybody from coming in. But with a portal fortress, look at this extra layer of protection you can put as long as you have a hundred mats you can put two layers of protection on this and you can even build out the side toward like one of the stairs or like the pyramid like stairs or whatever or you know you can even use the top of this i'm just playing around for a second you know do this type of deal stand up top build you know even more of a one by one blah 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 I mean, there's just so much you can do with this Porta Fortress. Let's go ahead and bounce out the side of it. I'm pretty sure you can bounce out this. I'm pretty sure they let you bounce off the side of it because if not, you'd probably take fall damage. Um, let's go ahead and try it out now. I'm just gonna fall. I'm not gonna jump. I'm just gonna fall down and see if we do take fall damage. Oops, I forgot to block that. Uh. Oops, don't. Not the metal, y'all. Not the metal. Okay. Bruh. Okay. So. Let me go ahead and... Let's see. I mean, it's gonna... It's, it's gonna be so much work. Like, when I first saw this, like, I knew this couldn't be, you know, taken down with one nade. Kind of like... Kind of like that puny little portal fort right there. You know, it's gonna take... Probably a whole clip of nades if you're using the nade launcher. But man, like you get two layers of protection with this. This is such a huge space. 
to control with the portal fortress. Honestly, in solos, you can't just be complacent with this. I'm pretty sure people will fly in all on this knowing you have this much space. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you, you really can't look over it all at once, y'all. You can't. But, alright, let's go, let's go ahead and test. So, yeah, you take significant fall damage right there. I wish I had a med kit to heal up. You know I'm in the playground. So, you take pretty good fall damage right there if you don't use the bouncer. So, it's... I like that they added the bouncers right there. It's a very good use. Very, very good use to get you down safely. Just like so. Now... I know y'all might be wondering, why am I carrying an extra, why am I carrying an extra Port of Fortress? Well, I was planning on showing y'all some secret chests that are in the new building in Tilted without even attempting to try to get into a game in that very crowded area. So, this is what we're gonna, you know, this is what we're gonna do. We can just, let's see, supposed to just walk up, there we are. Look at how many drop. Oh, we got the red drops. Y'all will be able to see the spiky stadium also. I'm gonna go ahead and. Sh what the? B, there's a rift in Tilted. Look at this. So apparently, you could like jump off that ramp, and there's a rift up in Tilted right there. But let me just go ahead and show you what the spike. Whoa. Let me just go ahead and show you what the spiky stadium looks like. Um. I'm just gonna throw it a little distance and we're just gonna look at it from a top down view. But this, yeah, this uh, spiky stadium is only supposed to be in playground mode. Let's go ahead. Tilted's already like mad crowded as is. I would throw it over there. Let's throw it, let's throw it toward the river. It's a little bit of flat land. All right, ready? Whoa! It's a whole stadium! Holy bruh. That thing is legit the size of a soccer stadium. And I don't know how you're supposed to get back out of there, but that thing is legit the size of a soccer stadium, y'all. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go test and see if the spikes will hurt me, even though I threw it in a little bit. But first let's get to what we're supposed to be getting to. Actually, um, so beforehand, I wanted to test and see what happened if you threw a port of fortress under the cube. So with that, and, you know, a little random, uh, which we'll call it, just a little random llamas here and there. Let's just go ahead and see what's up. I'm gonna go ahead and aim at it. Yeah, I want it to land on top. I want it to land on top like so. Bam. Oh my. Yes, 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 yes. Look at this. I'm just gonna build up to it right now and uh hopefully I'll be able to edit this. Holy yeah, I think. Uh let's do a little half wall right there. So I can maybe have a chance to bounce a bit. Maybe, no. Uh, let's see what else. We can't do that. What a low wall. We can we can get over a low wall, can't we? We. Oh my God. I'm I'm gonna end up killing myself in this walkthrough, and it's only playing. Oh my God. I'm, okay. Okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. You're powerful. You can push me back. All that type of stuff. But can I just get can, can I just get up in there? No. So I think you're already. Yeah, it's a bad idea. It's just a bad idea to just not do those <laughs> to not put the uh, portal fortress on a cube because it's gonna be very hard to get up here. But yeah, this is what a portal fortress looks like on a cube. Bam! That thing violently takes you up too. Look at this. How violent that is. But anyway, let's go ahead and use one of the bouncers. Uh, we're gonna go. I thought I was about to die. We're gonna go. I'm gonna go hit the rift. 
and then I'm going to go ahead and showcase that spiky stadium, and I'm going to test and see. What the? Oh, all my mats are over there. I'm going to need... I'm going to need... I give me one of these. Yeah, I'm going to need that. I'm not going to worry about shield right now, because we're really just testing out these spikes. So... If I get murked with the spikes, I get murked with the spikes. But if not, then nah. Alright, let's see how far up this, uh, this very rift is right out here. Alright, make ourselves a jump. We're actually gonna dive. Dive bomb right down here. And then I'm gonna go... I need to catch myself. Okay, really? And the port. Okay, the spiky stadium is right here. Now we legit have about three and a half minutes left to test this out. So we're not. Okay, I'm sorry, we're not gonna get to the secret chests in Tilted today. But instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw this spiky stadium all the way over there. You can't really find a flat land big enough to. Really? You can't find a flat land big enough to really put all this in. But, just to test something out, the spikes do kill literally anybody in that stadium. Even if you throw it, the spikes will kill you. But yeah, the cube's in tilted now. I don't know how long that cube is going to stay up in tilted. But, yeah, you've got, you've got two and a half minutes left in this clip, so... I'm pretty sure I could probably show you like one secret chest and then we'll be done. But yeah, that's all the new items, y'all. Like, you get the port. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and fly over it one more time. Just so you get the. If you go off to my left, that's the size comparison. Never mind that little one by one box I made on the side. That's just another demonstration. But you get the Porter Fort compared to the Porter Fortress. And the Porter Fortress definitely, definitely dwarfs that Porter Fort. And yeah, don't forget to um, don't forget to utilize those bounces on the side, or you will take just about 30 fall damage. You don't choose to do so. So okay, let's get to. I got two minutes to show y'all this, and I don't even have a clue of where this is at. But apparently, there's a secret chest up in this new building here. Do, 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 do up in this new building oh so you open this door i guess it's kind of secret but you go you can go up front here take the atk or whatever or you can go around the back and bam you know what i mean that's i guess you could call it a secret chest i guess you could but other than that yeah we're pretty much done here y'all like i'm gonna go ahead and use this cube and not what I wanted to do. This one I wanted to do. So, go ahead and use this cube. Try to make my way over to this big old spiky stadium. And y'all, in playgrounds, I mean, you don't really need the one of you anymore. I think this is a, actually a very cool, uh, I guess we'll just call it game mode for the sake of argument here. You got like a soccer sized stadium right here. That you can literally put anywhere in the map. And you jump down, and you're gonna have to be careful because spikes, the spikes will literally hit anybody. You can bounce around too. I'll show you the bouncing around. Ooh, you see that? You see that right there? Shink, shink. Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to dodge these as long as I can right now. Oh, never mind. The spikes go through that floor. <laughs> all right, but that's all that we were going to show you. Like I said, the Spiky Stadium will not be used in gameplay just in playgrounds, but the Porter Fortress, well, over here, will. So here's one last look in comparison between the Porter Fort and the Porter Fortress. If you look off to my right at Loot Lake, y'all. And that's all the new items, plus maybe like one secret chest. So we're done here, y'all.